Have you ever seen any underdog sports movie? If so, you've probably seen two-thirds to three-quarters of Next Goal Wins. Have you ever seen Cool Runnings? If so, you've probably seen closer to four-fifths of Next Goal Wins. And I'm not saying this to disparage Next Goal Wins, but more to let you know what you're in for if you choose to watch it. It is a very formulaic underdog sports movie. Michael Fassbender plays a professional soccer coach whose career is on its last legs. He's got one more chance, and it is to go to American Samoa to coach their national soccer team, which is the losingest soccer team in all of international soccer. And as you can imagine, it's a story of culture clash. It is a story of him learning from them and them learning from him and amazing things happening. And yeah, it's easy to know what to expect from this kind of movie. I think this does it pretty well, though. The performances were very good. It was all very charming. There were parts that I think are a little overdone, and maybe we should be over by now. Some aspects of, well, the people of American Samoa that he meets are, they're, they're simple and different. They have some kind of special wisdom that they can share with him, and he has a certain approach to dedication and hard work that, that he can uh, share with them. But all in all, it's a very pleasant movie, nothing tremendous, but I enjoyed watching it. Another aspect that you really need to be aware of, though, is this is directed and co-written by Taika Waititi. So there is that Taika Waititi kind of feel or twist to it. And uh, either you like that or you don't. I like it as long as it is not in enormous doses. So that was a plus for me. And by the way, this is a Draft House Diary entry for November 26th, 2023. Yeah, I've got some catching up to do. I have been out of town, and of course there were the holidays, and uh, don't tell Alamo, but I also saw some movies at AMC theaters instead of Alamo. Uh, let me know in the comments if you ever want to hear any reviews of those movies that I saw at AMC theaters. Most recently they included Godzilla Minus One and Wonka. But back to Next Goal Wins. There was one other aspect that I think is worth mentioning, and that is the, the trans representation in this movie. It was very interesting because we're starting to see more and more of that in movies, and very often it is about, is this person supported for who they are by their community, by their friends? And this movie got beyond that very quickly in that, yeah, she was absolutely supported by her, uh, by her community. And their coach, Fassbender's character, kind of needed to, to learn how to deal with this person as a person. But there was another element that I don't think I've really seen much of before, and that is that this was a, uh, a trans woman who is an athlete. She technically still qualifies to be on this men's soccer team, and she's one of their best players, if not their best player. And she felt this tension and this obligation to perform well for this team and all the people who were the most important people to her and... Whom, whom, for whom she wanted to do her very best. But feeling that intention with who she felt she was, the kinds of treatment she was getting because of that, it was an interesting aspect of the movie I don't think I've seen before, specifically in a sports movie. And the fact that it wasn't a sports movie about that, that was just included in the story that gave it some complexity. Uh, the, that role was played by uh, Kaimana, and that, like the rest of the story, is based on truth. This is, I'm sure it's heavily fictionalized, but this whole story of this coach going to American Samoa, coaching their team, and, uh, and one of their uh, players being in this situation, um, based on that true story. So that made it, uh, gave it a little more interest, but all in all, it was a by-the-numbers underdog sports movie. If you enjoy that, it's not a bad example at all. Good performances, good actors, beautiful scenery, and some pretty good humor, too. Other aspects of my trip to the Alamo. The pre-show uh, appeared to have been made custom for this movie. It included soccer-related videos and some music videos and clips. It included the trailer for Cool Running, so whoever put this together at the Alamo uh, had no illusions about what this movie was. And... 
Um, the clips from soccer movies included some serious ones, included some odd martial arts soccer combinations that I've seen uh, in the pre-shows for some other action movies. It fit particularly well for this movie. As for food and drink, I did not get dinner at this show, but I did get some things from their holiday menu. I got their hot cocoa, and the hot cocoa is much as I've had it at other Alamos. A, a go cup with hot cocoa is pretty good. I bet it's from a mix, but it's a good mix, and some marshmallows. Nothing exciting, but no problem. It was good. I also got the sugar cookies, and the sugar cookies on the menu at all of the Alamos that I've seen, it says fresh baked sugar cookies. I got those at the Littleton Aspen Grove Alamo a few weeks prior, and sure enough, fresh baked sugar cookies. Here at the Westminster Alamo Draft House, I got these big store-bought sugar cookies, obviously not fresh baked, obviously right out of a package. I don't know if this is a decision that the Westminster Alamo made about how to handle the fact that these uh, sugar cookies were now on their menu, or if it was some issue with being able to bake cookies that day, so they got a package of sugar cookies. They weren't bad, but they were not warm, fresh-baked cookies that I was expecting based upon what was on the menu. So um, a rare occasion when I think the Littleton Alamo did something a bit better than the Westminster Alamo did. As for the rest of the theater, the staff at Westminster, always very good. The theater was decorated for the holidays. That's always fun to see. So all in all, a fun trip to the movies. Thank you very much for joining this Draft House Diary entry. If you want more of these, please click that subscribe button. Or if you just liked this one, click that like button. In the meantime, enjoy your movies. And when you do, stay till the end of the credits.